Well, the latest round of gun violence in Philadelphia leaves four people injured. Two of the victims are in critical condition. Eyewitness News reporter Jan Carabello is live at police headquarters with the latest on the investigation. Good morning, Jan. Jim, good morning. Police tell us that there was a makeshift sidewalk sale happening at the time of the shooting late last night. People were selling items like clothing and shoes when the gunfire erupted. This morning, four people are in the hospital recovering from gunshot wounds, but we're told two of those people are still in critical condition. And now we're hearing that at least one of the victims is an innocent bystander. So let's take it to the scene. This is where the crime scene unit was busy overnight collecting evidence as East detectives in Investigate. Police say this shooting happened around 10 o'clock on the 3600 block of Germantown Avenue. That's the intersection of Germantown and Erie. Police believe this innocent bystander is an 18 year old woman. She was shot in both legs and is now in stable condition. A 33 year old man was shot and is also in stable condition this morning. Meantime, police say a 34 year old man and another male police have yet to identify are both in critical condition. Now, this is a very busy area. There are businesses with surveillance cameras on both sides of the street. There are also real-time crime cameras at that very intersection. So today, police will be very busy taking a closer look at all of the evidence found at that scene. We found three spent shell casings. The only reason we found just the three, we believe this may have been a drive-by, and the other spent shell casings are in the vehicle where the shots were being fired from. Police also recovered a weapon there at the scene. They're also investigating two vehicles that were used to transport a couple of the victims to the hospital. One of those victims has a number of bullet holes in it, and we're told by police that investigators found at least a pound of what appears to be marijuana inside as well. So the driver was taken into custody for questioning this morning, but at this point, there are no arrests and there is no motive for this latest attack here in the city of Philadelphia. We'll keep you up to date, but for now, we're live outside police. Headquarters, Jan Carabao, CBS3, Eyewitness News. Back into you. All right, Jan, thank you for that.